Welcome to the video you guys. I am so excited to be back here on YouTube with you guys. We have officially moved into our house, obviously. We are in total disarray. It is so chaotic here. I mean, we have boxes everywhere. We haven't moved into really anything. I have the kitchen mostly moved in, but there's a thick layer of sawdust and construction dust everywhere. And we are still under construction in the downstairs, especially. We're still doing a few things up here. It is a split level house. So a lot of the rooms are downstairs, but we we're totally under construction downstairs but at least upstairs is livable is where I am now and thank you for your patience with these videos I had to put them on hold the last few weeks because of the move oh my gosh moving with him and a dog and going back to work I've been back at work for two weeks now and getting used to pumping at work I'm a nurse for those of you who are brand new so just getting used to the long shifts again and not being with him anymore and breastfeeding and pumping it's just been a lot not only that we're landlords so those of you who have been on here with me on YouTube for a while know that we own a fourplex so the unit we moved out of because we used to live in our fourplex we had to get ready for a new travel nurses to move in so it wasn't just moving out of our unit it was furnishing it which we left most of our furniture in our unit but it was like making sure we had pots and pans for them and utensils and cleaned and like making sure there was bedding and sheets and pillows and it was a lot I have never been so exhausted and so stressed in my entire life and we moved out of our unit in three days and and cleaned it and staged it in three days. I don't know how we did it. Josh and I probably lived on four hours of sleep every night and then me getting up a couple times in the middle of the night to feed him, it was a lot and I will never do that again. And I know we will do it again and it'll probably be with a second kid, hopefully I get pregnant again in the future, but maybe we'll hire movers in the future or do it a lot simpler or maybe not move in three days, maybe like give uh, ourselves a couple weeks. And the reason why we were motivated to move in three days is because we had travel nurses willing to pay top dollar for our furnished unit. So we were like, okay, we gotta move out to get this money <laughs> that we desperately need from this renovation because now we're broke. But yeah, we're very happy to be here and settling down in the house. We love this house. It's 3,000 square feet. It is huge. You know, the unit we were in was like 700 square feet. So we had literally nothing to fill the house with. So, you know, we're in the process of buying furniture and mattresses and bed frames and all that stuff. Our, as you saw, our TV just came in today. Our couch has been coming in in pieces because it's a big couch. So we've been living on like lawn chairs <laughs> as our furniture, which is totally fine. It works. So it's been a pretty relaxing Monday morning. We went to breakfast this morning because John Josh and I have not been on a date in forever. I can't even tell you when the last date was we went on. And it was our 15 year wedding anniversary last week and we didn't celebrate. Yeah, it was really nice breakfast. Quinn did really well. He was smiling the whole time, which was super cute. Let's see if I can sit down on this couch, sort of on the edge here. So I did kind of want to leave off on my postpartum journey. So the first postpartum journey video I did was the last video. It was all about my mental health and my postpartum anxiety. I dealt with a little bit of postpartum depression, but it was mostly anxiety and mostly around breastfeeding. So I shared all that in 
the last video a few weeks ago. So I will link that one down below if you're interested in how I dealt with mental health, postpartum, especially like the first two months it was rough. We're now getting into the groove of it. He is now 14, actually he'll be 14 weeks on Tuesday, which is tomorrow. So I'm 14 weeks postpartum. So it is so much easier now. He's only waking up once normally at night, sometimes twice. So we're getting better. Breastfeeding is so easy now. I'm pumping, I hate pumping, but pumping at work's been a challenge. So that's a bit, kind of been my next thing to overcome is just feeling more comfortable pumping at work. He's taking a bottle better. So it's all getting so much easier. I would say like the first two months postpartum are rough, but after that it gets a lot easier, a lot better. So I wanted to kind of mention in this video, my postpartum healing um, physically, how that's been going. It's just kind of be like more of a sit down chit chat because I am not gonna have time to edit like a full vlog, unfortunately, with all this moving, there's clutter around me and you guys know I'm such a type A person, like this is driving me nuts. So I don't have a lot of time to edit this video. So it's gonna be more like me just kind of talking with you guys, updating you. Can you stop spitting up? He's literally the spit up king right now still. I think I mentioned that in my last video too. And before I forget, if you're brand new to my channel, welcome. I upload one video a week every Sunday morning, Pacific Standard Time, all about living healthy. And recently it's been IVF and now it's been postpartum. And now I'm on this postpartum journey that's been rough, but now getting better like I mentioned. Probably the easiest part of postpartum for me has been the healing process. I didn't really hardly tear. I had three first degree tears and a couple stitches, but it all healed really fast. What I am dealing with now that I didn't figure out I had until eight weeks postpartum is a prolapse. So in terms of the actual like healing from the delivery, I did great. Like I barely bled. I wasn't really that sore. I just felt like a lot of vaginal pressure the, the first few weeks. And then all the swelling went down after about six weeks and I was cleared to work out. But once the swelling uh, went down, I could like feel something different down there. And I told my OB, I was feeling like my pelvic floor was like really weak and I felt like something was gonna fall out of my vagina. So he didn't seem worried. He just referred me to my pelvic floor physical therapist, which I was seeing when I was pregnant with him just so that I can prepare my pelvic floor for labor and delivery. And I was very glad I did that. Although as you guys know, and I'll link this video down below my birth story that you guys know I had a pretty Pretty traumatic labor because I wasn't ready. I was induced at 37 weeks because I was hospitalized for preeclampsia. And so my body was not ready for labor. He was not ready. And so it was all very forced. And I remember after 12 hours of being in labor on Pitocin, I was trying to push him out and I was having a really hard time. And it was almost two hours of pushing and I finally got him out and he wasn't even that big. He was only seven one. But because I missed those last few weeks of pregnancy where everything softens, like your hormones go up in your body that help soften your pelvis and your tendons and just soften everything down there for labor. I missed all that. And so I really like had a hard time pushing him out. And I remember when they delivered him, the nurse was like, she told the doctor, she's like, oh my gosh, is that her cervix? Apparently I almost pushed my cervix out. So I should not be surprised I have a prolapse. And basically what that is, is it's my bladder trying to come out of my vagina. And it's, you know, this is TMI, but it's literally right there. And and I freaked out. I freaked out. So I didn't know I had a prolapse until I went to my physical therapist and she did a pelvic exam on me eight weeks postpartum. And she said, yeah, your bladder is trying to come out of your vagina and that's called a prolapse. And I'm like, so basically what a prolapse is, is when your pelvic floor muscles are really weak and an organ is trying to come out of you. And that's what's happening to me. And for me, my pelvic floor muscles, I guess they're not calling them weak because they were pretty strong. I prepared them pretty well, I feel like for labor, but they got severely damaged from the delivery. And so now they're pretty severely injured where they can't keep my organs up. And that's the, really the whole point of having pelvic floor muscles. They keep your organs up, <laughs> preventing them from coming through your vagina. And so my bladder is trying to come out of my vagina. So this morning you saw, I had the little um, orange lacrosse ball. I'm trying to roll out my hip flexors and loosen them up because that helps with pelvic floor muscles. It helps like loosen everything up so that eventually I can strengthen those muscles further and push my bladder back up. So that's one of the exercises I do. Well, I'm supposed to do it every day, but I've been bad about that with the move. The booty band I had around my knees. I'm trying to strengthen my glutes because my glute muscles are 
are pretty weak. And so strengthening my glute muscles, loosening up my hip flexors will all help with the prolapse. So I am going to my pelvic floor physical therapist once a week and I'm doing exercises at home to help with all of that. My OB says he'll check me in July. He's not worried about the prolapse. He said this is not that uncommon and I'm freaking out over here. <laughs> like what? So I am not able to, to do anything high impact. I can do some ab stuff now because my abs did separate, but they, I feel like they're coming back together and my therapist has been working on that with me, but I can't really do, I can't do any running. I can't do any jumping. It's been very frustrating because I really want to get back into my regular workouts and I just can't with this prolapse still. And it's like, oh my gosh, it's driving me nuts. And I'm okay with short workouts. I do short, short workouts with him because he doesn't last very long, but I have been avoiding so many exercises for so long. You know, during pregnancy, I was avoiding high impact and I'm still avoiding high impact 14 weeks later. It's been very frustrating. It is nice that nothing hurts down there. It's, I just feel like, I feel pressure down there and I feel like my bladder's just gonna fall out of me at any second. So that's not a fun feeling at all. So hopefully that resolves because it would be so amazing if I could try to get pregnant a year from now, but if I'm still dealing with a prolapse, I don't know how that's gonna work. So yeah, more to come on that. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys are interested in further information on how I'm dealing with my prolapse, what I'm doing with my physical therapist, what exercises I'm doing, all that stuff. Cause I can do a separate video on how I'm dealing with the prolapse. I didn't really want to like give a ton of information in this video. This video is more for like updating you guys on what's been happening physically on me and you know that we've moved in and I'm back on YouTube, yay. Um, I do have another piece of exciting news that I just can't believe happened and I'm so excited to be working with them. Okay, I was able to put him down so I can talk with you guys for a minute. So you guys saw that I made my collagen coffee. I didn't have enough coffee at breakfast this morning. So I decided to make my collagen coffee, which I have every single morning. And I am so incredibly happy and excited to announce to you guys that I am working with a company called First Form. They are a supplement company, a big supplement company that has been around for a while. I remember them being advertised on Instagram when Instagram was like pretty new. And so I've always been impressed with this company, but they reached out to me last month wanting to work with me. And I, of course I was like so excited. They sent me a bunch of their products last month to try. And honestly, I was very impressed with them. And I shared this on my Instagram story a few days ago that I'm not gonna work with any company. I'm gonna only work with companies that I believe in, that I'm comfortable with, that I hope that you guys will like. So I have you guys in mind first and foremost. And so I really think you guys are gonna like this company. And probably a lot of you have tried their products before because they have been around for a while. But what I really like about them is their mission statement is so positive. It's all about helping people. And the interactions that I've had with the company Company so far have been so positive and it's very apparent that they are really about helping people and that's why I do my videos as you guys know it's very time-consuming it's a lot of work but I do them because I know they're helpful and I want you guys to not ever feel alone in your IVF journey and your infertility and you know living healthy journey all that stuff I don't want you guys to ever feel alone and they have the same mission statement and so then when they sent me their products I did not realize they have prenatal vitamins they have omega-3s of course they have protein supplements oh they have so many things and so for me it's a one-stop shop they have everything that I already take they have vitamin D and so you know those old IVF videos that I have recorded last year about like what supplements I've taken during my IVF journey they have all of it so it's literally a one-stop shop I'm all about being transparent on here so I did want to announce that I am being sponsored by them for now we'll see how this goes I've never been sponsored by a company before and so I'm so excited for you guys to be on this journey with me and please let me know what you think about their products if you try them I am so far very impressed with them and so I wanted to show you the collagen powder which of course I do the tasteless one because I don't like sweet coffee but they apparently I haven't looked into it yet but I am hearing that they have a flavored collagen powder so if you like sweet coffee you can do that which is super cool and the other supplement that I've been taking every single morning after my coffee I didn't show it to you guys today because of our little breakfast date that I had with Josh but <laughs> Josh just walked in these greens are super super tasty and so I've been drinking these every morning after my coffee and I used to drink greens all the time those of you who have been on YouTube with me for a while know that I used to drink greens but they are they haven't really been that tasty for me and not that convenient and but these mix really well in water and you just gulp it down and you're good to go but anyway so these are the two that I have been taking religiously every day I have tried a couple of their protein powders so I will be of course sharing more about that in the future but I did want 
to let you guys know that I am working with them now. And yeah, let me know what you think. All right, I am going to put these groceries away with Josh. That'll be it for the video. I'm sorry, it's a little bit short, but I just wanted to come on here and give you guys updates. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. We will be preparing for our trip to Hawaii. Uh, my sister is getting married and she lives in Hawaii. So we will be going to Hawaii in a couple of weeks. So I hope I can vlog some of that. My next video, I'm planning on doing my breastfeeding journey video and like how I've been dealing with breastfeeding, what's been working, what hasn't been working, all that stuff. So I want that to be like either the next video or the video after our Hawaii vlog. I'm not sure what the order is yet, but look forward to videos with you guys in the future. Those of you going through IVF, stay positive. You got this. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it because it really does help support my channel. I will see you in the next one. And always remember to be kind to yourself. Remember. <laughs> remember.